Now we're All right, back we're with back the with the review. <laughs> so that was Seikatsu. Uh, Seikatsu? Yeah. Seikatsu, did I say it right that time? You did, yes. Okay. And you actually said Pagoda at one point. So. Oh, <laughs> yay me! All right, yeah, so anyways, yeah, if you watch the, the video, you can you see that it was... You watched me get hammered again. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, but Mr. I got three Koi Pons. Yeah, that was... I got really lucky. At one point, I had two Koi Pons in my hand, so I was forced to play one of them. Forced to play. <laughs> Whatever. Like, All right. That ended up getting you a lot of points. Yep. So, uh, anyways, actually, I think it was a really good game, so that you got to see that it really, because um, I came out of the gate for half the, over half the game, just points, 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 yeah. points, points on the birds. Jeb took numerous turns with nothing, nothing, nothing. I think after a few turns of nothing, he was like, I gotta go for flowers. Yeah. And that's when he started, like, focusing and probably, I mean, I don't know what he had in his hand, but I'm assuming he was like, okay, we're going a different route. Well, if I get a bird, great. <laughs> if not, I gotta set up. In, in hopes that I get the flowers. Well, in the beginning, I just kept getting birds that weren't blue or... What was the other one on the board that we had? Green. Start yeah, we didn't... I kept getting the, the other color birds, and I was like, I'm not going to score any points off these, so I was like, might as well set up flowers. Right. So, so uh, having the multiple strategies mm -hmm. to, to um, you know, win conditions, victory point conditions, whatever you want to uh, call it, really makes for an interesting combination while while you're playing. Um, so I guess to start start off, um, what did I think of the game? You know, I give it I give it um, a thumbs up because yep. for multiple reasons. Um, for for me, uh, I don't think you can get much easier to teach. Oh and no even is... even if you're not e even if the person doesn't understand the scoring all they gotta do is play one game, and I guarantee they'll understand it after that. And it's only, it's a short game, so you don't right. have to spin. And that's what I mean, yeah. because you can play it so quickly, and then after they see it, um, you know, I, and that was that was one of my downfalls, because I saw the birds instantly, and then I, I was actually trying to pay attention to the flowers, but I was getting too greedy with the points up front, mm -hmm. and not paying enough attention to the flowers, and I probably should have backed off and gone, hey, wait a second, just because this bird's match, what color flowers does it have on right now, and what's on the board within, within my rows yeah. uh, that might match that. So anyways, I liked it for uh, the simplicity, and I liked it for the strategy, and I liked it for the presentation, because it's gorgeous. Oh yeah, the uh, the tiles themselves, like Mickey said before, they're plastic and not cardboard, yep. and that makes a world of a difference. I mean, I, I mean, some people might think, well, wow, that doesn't mean anything, but I, having played so many games, it's like when you when you can do like that, yeah. just that feeling yeah. gives you like satisfaction. Some, yeah, <laughs> some have to. Honestly, after playing with it, it would have been a shame if they did do cardboard. It yeah. wouldn't. I don't think it would have actually played as nicely. It would have played the same, obviously, because it would have had the same yeah. rules. Um, but the, the heft, like it has, a, like Jeb said, it has a good feel in your hand. And the heft keeps it, if there's a table bump or something like that, oh, yeah, a small table fine. bump is probably not going to cause the whole board to go <laughs> fine. Yeah. A big yeah. table bump, yeah. you're probably starting over. Because yeah. there's just nothing you can do do about it at, at, um, at that point in time. Uh... Anything else? I really liked how the game is divided into like strategic thinking and tactical thinking. Because the tactical is you get instant points for playing the birds, and you're like, okay, well, that's one strategy. And then the other one is the strategic of setting up your flowers. So it it's a really definitive split between those two ways of scoring points. And I know a lot of the, the heftier games have similar things like that, but this is really clear-cut. You can see that distinction in this game. I, I'm kind of curious, wondering to myself, if um, if there was any, uh, in the design of the game, if, mm -hmm. there, was, if there was any testing on, um, like if we both went out of the gate and didn't focus at birds at all. Oh, and just straight up, up and flowers? flowered, does that lead to more openings for higher scoring birds? 
Right. Just because of the way the tiles are, it's possible because there was only one, only one time at the end was I when you right here four. was I able to get four. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a mathematician. I can't look at that board and go, <laughs> oh yeah, based on those colors and the, you know, the way the board's set up, if you do this, this, and this, you know, you're probably going to be able to drop a board, a, one right there, and all the same color. I don't know. It's something to think about, though. If yeah, because like we, when, you, when know, you were playing and you kept doing the three-point things, the way you were playing them would, like, there was no way to score get, any high numbers. Right, and it, I kept seeing that. I was like, well, well I can't do anything higher than yeah, three. Yeah, but then you kind of get scared of if I start trying to make a circle, yeah, then you Jeff hop plops in. one in for a four. Towards the end with the Redbirds, I was like, maybe Mickey will get yeah, desperate, right, but exactly. he didn't. <laughs> so, because that, that was actually what he just said right there was actually one of my worries. If I try to build a line and take and just keep taking two points, um, then he can drop something in the middle and take four points when I was trying to get, because that was, there was a... There was a couple times when I had a pair of birds in my hand, and there was stuff out there, and I could have <laughs> tried to gone that route to yep. get a higher scoring one in the next turn, but you don't know what the opponent has. And then if you've got a third player, oh, yeah. that probably yeah. makes it even more crazy. And then on top of all that strategy, there's also trying to block your opponent as well. Because there were times where I was looking at your rows, and I was like, if I place something there, it's going to give you points, and... It's not necessarily right. going to help me in my row, so yeah, I take that into it's account. It's hard for me to tell tell if if a if a block. I, yeah, I mean, you'd have to be really good at counting yeah. the dip point difference in. If I place here, it still gives me this many points, and how yeah. many does it take away from them? That's that's way beyond me. <laughs> Wait, I, <laughs> but I know exactly what you're yeah, saying. It be, certainly, if I've got if I've got like. If there's five blues in this row for me, yeah. and you can at least put something there to keep it from six, you're probably going to do it whether or not it helps you yeah. or not. So, so yeah, that's definitely um, definitely another, just another aspect of it. And I think um, uh, whoever Jeb was talking to said that it was a simple game but hard to master uh, type, of, type of game. It, it kind of reminds me of... Um, a little bit with the uh, uh, the the tile laying dragons that go around south. Suro. Suro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it was not coming. I right. know Suro. I've said that name a, a thousand times. Um, not that it's flying dragons, but it just like the simplicity with the strategy. I just find it funny because when I turn to look at you, it's right Suro, there. Suro, there it yeah, is. Um, yeah, it kind of reminds me of that a, a little bit in in that uh, they're both really good looking games. Yeah. Really solid components, even though there's not a lot of them. They're nice right. looking and very easy to teach. And very easy to teach, but they're not easy to yeah. Yeah. Uh, win. When you start yeah. playing against people who know no, strategies. Geez, yeah. <laughs> Um, but there's enough of the randomness too that it's not like it's also yeah. it's not like a game of chess where it's like I know what I'm gonna be able to do yeah. all the time because Jeb got three of the coys and I didn't and you know I mean I, by time you get to the point where it's like oh I know I'm not getting one it's too late because mm -hmm. they're either all gonna be out on you would have had to either play them all and then I would have known. Yeah. Uh, you know, but till the very end, I was kind of hoping, is there one more left in yeah. the bag? Because then I could have gotten a better flower row somewhere. Um, so, I don't have much more to, to, to say about it either, except for that... Um, definitely I, a great filler. Yeah, game. I will definitely uh, reiterate, you know, thumbs up on it, because um, just for all those reasons that I said before, yeah. because... Um, you know, it's nice to have these types of games. Yeah, because, I mean, you can just throw you this can, in your bag, and then yeah, if you're at a not place... That big, big either. Yeah, if you're at a place where there's, like, if you're stuck somewhere and nobody's a, like, heavy gamer, you just be like, oh... Here, it, try this one. It's, you yep. take one out of the bag and put it on the the, ta the board. Yeah. It's like... So. Uh, so, who wouldn't like it? Um, maybe... I, I, maybe, I was trying to think... Maybe a heavy... Like, I, I like a really heavy game, mm -hmm. like, if you're into, you know, or if, like, or if your game nights typically um, center around something that's more epic 
and I don't necessarily mean it has to be eight hour epic, but I mean if you're yeah. looking for something that's going to be, you know, even an hour and a half, two hours, this isn't the game. For yeah, because you, you can get what four or five games of right. this in, and it, I don't right. know, people might get sick of playing the same game right. over and over. Well, I wouldn't. Two even, hours, I mean, but... even though I liked it, I wouldn't want to play it four times right. over and over right. again. But I would play it once or twice. And then move on yeah. to either the main game in the evening or something else. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, just to go, haha, games are fun to somebody that yeah. doesn't play games. You know, yeah. that type of thing. Uh, so I was trying to think of somebody who wouldn't like it. And if it's kind of a, maybe a rare scenario. But if it's like a, a new person playing against a person who, like, takes a lot of time and tries to figure out every possible path. Like, that could get kind of frustrating. Because... It literally is just you place a tile and then you draw the next one. And if you have a person sitting there, what's the name of that? They have a name for people like that. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah, yeah. There's names for different types of games. But yeah, but yeah, if they're just sitting there and just trying to, it's like, oh, well, if Jeb has a green bird with this color, then the odds of this happening, and like, you're sitting there, it's like, just th put something a, down. It's a 20 minute game, and you're spending 30 minutes taking one turn, then that, that could get frustrating, so, that's yeah. the only scenario I could see. I almost, I almost feel like, you could, you should be able to make most of your decisions based on what's there. Right. If you're that type of person that can really tell what the odds are of somebody else having a chip based on what's already out in yep. the board and what's in your hand, yep. and then knowing the number of chips. You've played this game <laughs> way too much. And on top of that, if you can do this, you shouldn't be playing this. You should be counting cards in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, a yeah, card counter would probably be that kind of person. So, uh, I got nothing uh, else. I'm, things I'm, to remember? I yeah, 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 I don't think the there's uh, things to remember. Uh, this. Just make sure that it, don't try to get ahead of the other person. Like it, if you're, if I play my tile and then I'm like, okay, I'll draw a car, a tile, and as I'm drawing it, Mickey's like, I put this here and score these points. If you try to like overlap people's turns, then maybe you could get some kind of confusion going yeah, on. I think we did good about passing the bag. Yeah, as yeah. long as you do that, pass the bag thing, you won't. You won't forget to draw. Honestly, right. it's easy to forget to draw in um, in Suro. Actually, mm -hmm. I, I've done that multiple times. Forgot to bring put a new tile in my hand. I, I feel like passing the bag actually did remind me. Yeah. Um, to do that. And that was in the rule book too. So. Yeah. And I also, I also think uh, from a strategy perspective, I think it's really easy to get hung up just solely matching birds at the beginning of the game, and it might be too late later on mm -hmm. if if you're not paying too much attention. I mean, that's this is more of a strategy tip rather than yeah. things that can mess up the game. Um, in terms of uh, things to remember, uh, which um, maybe if you just gloss over the rules, is the wild card with the koi is a one-time thing. Don't forget it's only a one-time thing. Once it's on the board, um, it doesn't count, it doesn't count as anything afterwards. It, it's um, In the end game, it counts. In the, in the, so... Uh, so my point is, yeah. like, you don't have to worry about it until end game. So you still need to pay attention to it. It's not dead because it's a wild flower yep. at the end of the game. So even if somebody gets a really good play playing it initially, you're the one who could benefit it from it the most maybe towards the end of the game. Right. We should have counted the green player and see if he beat you. <laughs> That's true. We might do that afterwards. <laughs> but they weren't playing any birds, so yeah. we it probably unlikely. <laughs> so um anyways, uh there's yeah, there's not a lot to go to go over with. Yeah, I think I've said everything that I pretty I, pretty quick and uh pretty quick and simple for a for a really solid game. Yep. And I like the components, so mm -hmm. it was And you like it's Japanese. Yeah. So I hit all the right the right points. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right, so that's it for the one of our first uh, reviews of IDW games that were sent yep. to us to get out to you guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed that. Um, hopefully, if you were looking for a uh, a simple slash simple slash hard game, yeah, that uh, you might give this give this a whirl if you see it. Yeah, if you guys have any questions or comments, you make sure you comments. leave them. 
Uh, please subscribe. It helps us know that uh, right. people are watching. Or if you saw us do anything wrong, gosh, I hope we didn't do anything wrong. It yeah. seemed, <laughs> seemed like seemed like this is pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, and again, like Jeb had said during setup or uh, or intro, wherever it was, if you're interested in uh, playing a solo game or a four-player game, just consult the rules because the yep. the tile placement is going to be virtually the the same. Um, three player, that's easy enough because that's just exactly the same with yep. somebody sitting at the green spot. And then with a team, it's I the same. It's, it's, yeah, pink. blue and pink again, yeah. except you play as a team. Yep. Um, so there you go. Yeah, and if you if you look at those and you have questions on that, you can even let us know and we'll try to figure stuff out too. Right. So, uh, but aside from that, I think that's everything for Seikatsu. I think so. See ya. See ya. Boards and booze. Booze and boards. With Mickey and Jeb.